Situated on the Manzares River in the centre of the country, Madrid is the third most populated city in Europe. The Spanish capital has a wealth of history and is full of architectural masterpieces and iconic buildings dating from the 16th century to modern times. The latest addition to these stunning buildings is the Caja Magica, or Magic Box as it is known. The state-of-the-art tennis venue boasts three show courts in its innovative main structure, all with individual retractable roofs, as well as over 16 outside courts. Opened only a matter of weeks ago, the Caja Magica is home to the latest addition on the Sony Ericsson WTA Tour, the Mutua Madrilena Madrid Open. This brand new tournament is a premier mandatory event, meaning that unless injured, all of the top 10 women in the world must play in the grand Spanish city. With Anna Ivanovic and Vera Zvonareva both absent, the remaining eight of the top 10 were all in action during the opening rounds but it was not to prove a happy week for many of the big names. 13 of the top 16 seeds all falling before the quarterfinals. First to go was world number two Serena Williams. The American has had an injury-plagued spring and was forced to retire during her first round match against Francesca Schiavone due to a pain in her right knee. Serena's sister Venus didn't fare much better. After a bye in the opening round, she came up against world number 26, Alyssa Klebanova. Having lost the opening set, the American fought back to force a decider, but was still far from her best and eventually lost 3-6, 6-3, 5-7 in a match lasting well into the night. Joining the Williams sisters as early round casualties was the Russian trio of Nadia Petrova, Svetlana Kuznetsova and third seed Yelena Dementieva. The Olympic champion throwing away a one set lead against France's Amelie Moresmo to crash out in the third round. Petrova's conqueror was Patty Schneider, who took time out from her busy schedule to serve up some treats for her adoring fans at the Caja Magica. There was, however, some success for the Russians, as world number one Dinara Safina continued to play with the form that saw her take the title in Rome last week. The top seed seeing off China's Li Na in the second round and world number 50 Lucy Safarova in the third before coming up against Alona Bondarenko in the first of the quarterfinals. In a tight first set, both players traded early breaks before the top seed unleashed some powerful shots in the 10th game to break again and take the opening set. The second set was more straightforward for Safina. The world number one wrapping up proceeding 6-4, 6-3 in just over an hour and a half to keep her quest for back-to-back -back titles on track. In the same half of the draw as Safina was fourth seed Yelena Jankovic, who faced Switzerland's Patti Schneider in the last eight. The 30-year-old Swiss veteran had seen off eight seed Nadia Petrova in the previous round and was playing with a newfound confidence that unsettled the Serb. Schneider clinched a tight first set lasting over an hour, 8-6 on the tiebreak, before finishing things off with relative ease in the second to end Jankovic's hopes and move into her first semi-final of the year. In the bottom half of the draw, Denmark's Caroline Wozniacki was enjoying a great week in Madrid. The ninth seed dominating her opening three matches to reach the quarter-finals and guarantee a top ten debut when the new Sony Ericsson WTA Tour rankings are released on Monday. Yeah, definitely. Top ten is a big milestone and now I have nine more spots to go before I'm there where I want to be. <laughs> but Wozniacki was not done there. She was just as ruthless in her last eight match against qualifier Vera Dushevina, winning 6-love, six 6-4 six to set up a semi-final with Amelie Moresmo, 
who continued her run in Madrid with another comeback win against Hungary's Agnes Zavai. The world number 21 winning 5-7, 6-1, 6-1 in a match lasting just over two hours to move into the last four. In a close four semi-final, neither player was able to grab the advantage as the first set went to a tie-break. Having saved set point, Wozniacki held on to take the breaker and assume control of the match. Moresmo continued to fight hard, but was unable to find a way back into contention. Wozniacki winning 7-6, 6-3 in exactly two hours to book her place in the final.